Hi, Sai here. I'm part of the delivery and implementation team at Analysis Prime. In this video blog, I would like to demonstrate a new feature which was introduced as part of the 2023 QRC3 release. The feature which I'll be covering in this video blog is the introduction of the automatic refresh at data action execution. I'll briefly talk about this feature and show how to access it in the add-in and then I'll close this video by doing a quick recap. The automatic refresh after a data execu action execution has been added as a follow-up step to the data action. This is done to give a consistent user experience like what we get in SAC. As you can see in the slide, the Automatic refresh at data ac uh, action execution is a follow-up step which can be selected or deselected in the designer window, which comes up when you add a planning trigger into the Excel. Let's now jump into the add-in and see how this looks like. So I've already signed in to the tenant and Basically, this is uh, the feature which has been added. As you can see, refresh the table. The comment which is here is refresh tables on target model automatically. So once a planning trigger is added and you execute the your data action step, the table gets refreshed automatically. So um, basically, let me since this has already been executed, let me revert the data here. Execute the planning trigger. You see that the table is ref being refreshed. Now, let's see what happens when we don't select it. Select the your option that is. I click on the planning trigger now. See that it's running. So here it says please refresh to see the results and you also see that the data has not been moved. Basically, this data should come here, but it's not actually transferred. So, we just do refresh table. And you see that it's transferred. See, also observe where, how, when does that, your uh, selection here be shown it comes up when you click on the planning trigger so that's where you have to select or deselect your options this is what i wanted to show you in this quick video blog let's now jump back into the slide so in this video blog, we saw how we saw how to access the feature, and now you know how to select and deselect this fu function as required. Thank you for your time. Happy learning.